Okay, in this video, let's take a look at how you can just solve for simple unknowns using the sine law. So if we take a look at the first question here, where we have 12 over sine 32 degrees is equal to x over sine 57. The simplest way to do this is to just use a cross multiply technique, where you um, cross multiply um, through the equal sign so that we are equal to an expression on the left, which equals the expression on the right. So if we do this, this is going to give us 12 times sine 57 is equal to sine 32 um, all times x. Okay, and then in this case, what we want to do is isolate x. So we need to divide both sides by sine 32. We'll cancel it on this side, and then that will equal, x will be equal to the value of the product of 12 times sine 57 divided by the sine of 32. Okay, it's important to remember that your calculator needs to be in uh, degree measurement so that when you do sine of 57, it's sine of 57 degrees and sine of 32 degrees. And when you do this, you should get 12 times um, a decimal 0.83. Um, eight seven. Take your trig functions to four decimal spots so you get some accuracy for that. All divided by sine of thirty two, which is zero point five two uh, nine nine. And when you work that out, you'll see here. I'm just going to move this aside. X is equal to nineteen point zero. So that means the distance of that side opposite that angle of fifty seven degrees would be nineteen. Okay, and then if you're faced with a similar question where they put the variable on the bottom, like in question C, you just do it exactly the same way. So we cross multiply this, so we'll have 6.4 times sine 41 degrees is equal to Z times sine of 67 degrees. And again, just divide out the sine of 67 on both sides. And you will be able to isolate the variable that you need. And you should see here that Z is equal to around 4.6. Okay, so each one of these problems is essentially the same. It doesn't matter whether the variable is on the top or the bottom. Um, just use the cross multiply technique um, and then divide by essentially what the number is or the item in front of X or the unknown value. And then that will let you isolate and solve for that um, equation.